This video is about the third phase of the Thirty Years' War, called the Swedish Intervention. The Swedish Intervention lasted from 1630 to 1635. It started when Gustav II Adolf, the Swedish king, landed in the north of Germany. In the end, there was a Treaty of Prague. The German territories and principalities, uh, duchies, and the emperor made peace. Of course, the most important person in this phase of the war was the Swedish king, Gustav II Adolf, but also important, the Catholic commanders, Wallenstein and Tilly. Before the Swedish intervention, there was a Danish intervention, and the emperor, the Catholic side, could win against the Danish and the northern German forces. They were at the height of their might, especially because they had substantial t territorial gains. The Protestant side was weak and humiliated and discriminated, but they also had a strong will to live freely and resist the Catholic suppression. They wanted to defend their freedom of faith. Now it was Gustav Adolf of Sweden who took over the Protestant cause, but he was not only coming to Germany because of religious reasons, he also had uh, political reasons. Sweden was in a phase when they were evolving as a great power in Europe, a great power from the north. Now, as mentioned, this period of the war started when Gustav Adolf arrived in northern Germany. And the northern states, the northern territories, were very happy. They joined his cause, and now there was a chance to turn the tides of war. And that was more and more that became more and more obvious, especially when Gustav Adolf won the first major battle, the Battle of Breitenfeld, and he could defeat Tilly. Then the Swedish and northern German, the Protestant forces, invaded southern Germany. They advanced forward, and there was the Battle of Rhine am Lech. Gustav Adolf decisively defeated Tilly, and Tilly was even killed during this battle. Now Gustav Adolf invaded Munich or occupied Munich and threatened to invade the Habsburg heartland. So in this dangerous situation, Wallenstein was reinstated as Generalissimo to turn the war around. And now the Battle of Lützen. It was a Swedish victory, but yeah, problematic and traumatic for the Protestant and Swedish side was that Gustav Adolf was killed during the battle. For the next years, the war continued, but there was no decision. The country was only devastated. The only important date is the assassination of Wallenstein. He just became too powerful, too mighty within the Catholic side. So it's not entirely clear, but some internal adversaries uh, probably ordered the assassination. As mentioned, the Treaty of Prague on the 30th of May 1635 marked the end of this period of the Thirty Years' War. The Emperor and the territorial rulers realized the war brings us nowhere. We only get devastation, we only get weaker, it's disastrous, we cannot end the war um, in any constructive, positive way. So they agreed on the status quo antebellum and joined a defensive alliance uh, established a joint defense of the Iran. Now, after this period, or during this period of the war, Sweden was firmly established as the Nordic great power, and the Protestants, as just shown, the Protestant rulers and the emperor made peace. The status quo on the Berlin was restored, with a few exceptions, but you can say we have the status quo on the Berlin again. The Protestant faith very important was secured now, and in the next for the next phase there was an alliance of Sweden and France against the Emperor. Sweden, a Protestant country, France, a Catholic country. That made clear that at the latest from now on the war changed from religious conflict to a political conflict. This was the third phase of the Thirty Years' War in five.